Hello, my name is Hilary Wolfenbarger, and this is my performance assessment walkthrough for scripting and programming applications D493. So the project scenario is that as a data analyst for an event company, I needed to build an application that would retrieve historical weather data for the past five years for a chosen location and date to determine the need for a weather covering or shelter for the day of the event. So I will walk you through um, my code that was built into PyCharm. Uh, first, within the class file, I imported the request package, which is a library that allows me to interact with the API. Uh, I created the weather data class with uh, these parameters, latitude, longitude, month, day, and years. And they will define the location and the chosen date that I want to retrieve the data for. And there's also other variables. And these are set to none initially, but they will be calculated later uh, after the data is retrieved. I also built within this file the methods. And the first method is the fetch weather data method. And the purpose is to uh, make API requests to fetch the weather data for the last five years, one year at a time. And so it's built into a, into a loop. And so we will loop through each year provided. And for each year, you will build a URL to send an API request to the web, to the website. And it will retrieve the, the data um, and if that is successful, the response will be in a status code. And if that code is equal to 200, then um, it's positive, successful. And if not, um, it will print a failed to retrieve data statement. Uh, but once it's positive and successful, that response will be translated into a JSON object. And it will extract the variables and put them into a dictionary and that would be appended into a, a list, the year's data list. The second method um, is the get mean temperature. And that method will um, first call the fetch weather data method. Then it will process the return list of dictionaries. And um, with the corresponding year and mean temperature will be then extracted from that and added into its own list of tuples um, containing that information. So um, the other two uh, methods, the get max wind speed and get some precipitation, do the same. They first call the fetch weather data and retrieve that information and add, them, add the information to a list of tuples. I will then um, show you the next file, the main file. Uh, within this file, first I imported the necessary libraries um, for the program. So the SQL Alchemy will um, define and interact uh, the SQLite database. Uh, the weather data comes from the file we just looked at. Uh, the SQLite 3 allows me to query the data directly into the database and tabulate to format that data into a table. So this is the location and date chosen, Charlottesville, Virginia, on January 26th, and the, years, uh, the year list is from 2020 to 2024. And um, I'll create an instance of the weather data class with that information. Um, using SQL Alchemy. I will also define a second class, the weather record class, and that's basically the structure for um, the table in SQLite. Um, after the weather record is done, I will create the SQLite engine. Um, first, you drop the table if it exists already and create all to recreate uh, that table. And um, this table will be built according to this structure here. Um, the records, I then create a section, a session, sorry. And that uh, will 
add, insert the, the data into the database and commit it so it's saved properly. That's done with the SQL Alchemy. And once uh, this will be done for every year, uh, once the data is done being committed, the session will then be closed. And if that is inserted successfully, uh, the statement will be printed then. Um, then I defined a method to query that table uh, within the database. And um, that's used SQLite 3 to connect with the, the, within the database. Um, the query will retrieve all the records for the location. Um, and if that is pulled properly, the table will be printed using tabulate um, in a formatted manner. I will um, demonstrate that now. And just click run and if it's successful it will print the rows of data so yeah the weather data was inserted successfully i'm sorry successfully into the database and then i printed both formats in a list as well as in a table so we can see it has 2020 to 2024 and all the information here. Um, thank you, and this concludes my presentation.